Meghan Markle and Prince Harry introduced royal baby Archie to the world this week after the Duchess of Sussex gave birth on Monday. But, the Duke and Duchess baby was not given an official title, despite suggestions he might have become the Earl of Dumbarton, as a nod to one of Prince Harry's subsidiary titles. Equally the baby boy could have been Lord Archie Mountbatten Windsor, instead, he will be known as Master Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Speaking on Sunrise, royal editor Rob Jobson, claimed Meghan and Prince Harry had already given their blessing for their son to become Prince Archie, but will have to wait for Prince Charles to become king. Asked if the Queen would have had to sign off on the name, Archie, Mr. Jobson replied, yes, she would, but the reality is this little lad is so far down the pecking order, he's never going to be king, so it doesn't really matter. Everyone is going on about the fact that he is just going to be Master Archie, I think that is just for now. The Queen is 93 years old, and they didn't want to make a big fuss for the rules to be changed. There is a thing called the George V Convention, which was to stop so many Prince names. When Prince Charles becomes king, I have been told they are very happy for him to become Prince Archie, that is with their blessing. It's not a speculative thing, that's exactly what they will do. He will become Prince Archie when his granddad becomes king. Royal baby Archie has the right to the title of His Royal Highness once Prince Charles becomes king, because he would be the grandson of a reigning monarch through the male line. The rule relates to a royal decree created by the Queen's grandfather, who wanted to limit the number of grand titles within the royal family. According to the Evening Standard, a royal insider said, the Sussexes have chosen not to give their children courtesy titles at this time, however, on the change of reign the George V Convention would apply. Royal commentator James Brooks said, of course, when Charles becomes king, Archie becomes a male and grandchild of the monarch and so is eligible to be titled as prince and use HRH. Mr. Brooks added the decision will be personal or parental, but suggested if Archie has gone years without a title, I don't think he'll start to use one later on. On Wednesday, Meghan and Prince Harry posed for pictures with their son in the St. George's Hall in Windsor Castle, just two days after he was born. The Duchess of Sussex said, It's magic, it's pretty amazing. I have the two best guys in the world so I'm really happy. As her husband held their son, Meghan added, He has the sweetest temperament, he's really calm. Asked who the baby takes after, Meghan said, We're still trying to figure that out. Prince Harry added, Everyone says that babies change so much over two weeks we're basically monitoring how the changing process happens over this next month really. But his looks are changing every single day, so who knows. A month before the birth of the royal baby, Buckingham Palace announced Meghan and Prince Harry had decided to celebrate privately and would not take part in the traditional public photo shoot other members of the royal family partook into over the past three decades.